welcome back to the channel. Gotta go feed the goats real quick and we're gonna get back to work. You guys still sleeping? ready. So yesterday I got all these chains, I took them all apart, got them freed up to clean out underneath where this bottom sprocket slides so they will move now. Um, I had one bolt break off, I actually had two bolts break off. Got the one out pretty easy with vice grips, but this one's giving me some fits, so I brought my torch, I'm gonna try to give it some heat. If not, I might have to weld a nut to it and try it that way, so. That's not gonna go. So the reason why I'm heating it is because when you heat metal, it expands. So I'm heating the nut around the bolt. So in theory, the nut will expand and it will make the hole bigger and it'll make the bolt easier to get out. And we've had this work and we've had this not work. So we're gonna try our best. it's moving. Let's see how far I can get it out before it cools down. Need more heat. I'm getting it. It's gonna fight me the whole way, but I think I'll get it. My vice grips are getting hot. I have to cool them down. Got it out. Thankfully it broke on the left side because if it broke on the right, you can't get to the bottom of the bolt to take it out with vice grips, but we got it. Next thing I need to do Check the oil in these oil baths. The, uh, there's a big chain that runs in here that runs your head and it runs in oil to keep it lubricated. So you gotta make sure this is full oil. But to do that, I have to lower the head so I can tell the right level. Let's see if the combine will start. Got the header lock. So what you do here is you take this bottom screw out. And 
oil's not running out. So then you take the top one out. This is real fun to do one handed. Then you take your oil, you fill it in the top hole until it runs out the bottom one. She's full. Pretty simple. All right, so I'm sort of at a standstill. Um, I need some help greasing the corn head. Like I said, it's a two-man job. And I wanted to pull the auger cart outside to grease it. That way it's out in the light where I can see, but it's kind of rainy and I don't really want to get it out in the rain. So I'm gonna wait and see what that's gonna do. In the meantime, We've got three or four bins that we need to sweep out, um, actually sweep and clean because we're going to be putting seed beans in them and they have to be inspected. So I'm going to go look at the two over there. We haven't ever used these bins before. They're a friend of ours. They're not using them. So I'm going to see how much cleaning they're going to take and go from there. So these are the two bins that we might be renting this fall. Pretty nice bins, they need a little bit of work. This pulley's bent right here, so that'll have to be addressed. I don't think they have power to them, which isn't a huge deal. We could run drop cords for now. They got fans on them. I don't know if the fans work, but we've got spare fans. But for, for right now, I just need to get them cleaned out so they can get inspected. not too bad. Shouldn't take me long to get these cleaned up. fill this corn head with grease you have to take the plugs out pump them with grease from the bottom side and he'll tell me when they're full got it I'm gonna tell you when they're full. The black one, there's two black ones that are identical. Yeah, it's the one to, the, the, one right. to the right.
more efficient if we didn't have to film this. Alrighty. So right now I'm filling the gear boxes with grease. It has to be done every year because they get heat and it evaporates or disappears somehow. So you have to fill them back up with grease. Gear boxes are greased. Just have to put this last chain back together. You got all the caps on? Yep. Dylan got all the caps on. There are 15 16 French, actually two of them on the top of the bench. to unhook the corn head back on the trailer so it's out of the way for them to come inspect the combine. got the corn head ready to go other than greasing the drive shafts which are easier to do when it's sitting on the trailer so we just got to flip the snoots over and I'll worry about that later but now Dylan and I are gonna clean out these two grain bins nice and clean huh there's a dead bird in there so we're planning on putting seed beans in these bins and seed beans being beans that they will use to sell for seed next year and you have to have your bins cleaned out and inspected that way there's no foreign material foreign seed you get the drift real nice <laughs>
left to clean out. So I believe the last time these bins were used was 2009, 10 years ago. They're pretty gross. The pigeons kind of took over and made a little colony here, but they're about to get evicted. That's a big spider. it for today we got our corn heads ready to go we got our bins swept out they're coming to inspect the combine tomorrow i think in a couple weeks we'll be ready i tested some corn last friday hand sampled 28.6 it was 33 the week before that so we lost about five points in a week they're calling for some warm weather so that should help us out um i'm thinking end of next week or the following week we might try and do a little bit we got that uh, 60 acres that we got planted in the middle of May. That's uh, really drying down in a hurry. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That way you'll always know when I have a new video. That really helps me out. See ya.